Hi guys, my name is Louise Fay and I'm one of the team at Gym Possible. Um, I'm an adaptive boxing coach qualified by England Boxing and today I'm going to take you through around about a 30 minute adaptive boxing workout. You don't need any equipment for this guys, however if you would like to use boxing gloves you absolutely can and if you're going to use hand weights please keep them nice and light to your body weight. I tend to use anything from half a kilo to a kilo, nothing more than that, but it needs to be relative to your body weight. Everything that you see in this video is for motivational purposes. This is not medical advice. Um, the idea behind these workouts is to get fit, have fun and make friends along the way. Um, so hopefully you can pull up a few, take a seat and get fit today with me. So, before we get into warm up, we're going to do some mobilisation or dynamic stretching. So I'm going to start off with the head and work down and that way we're less likely to forget anything in between. So we're going to start off with five neck circles clockwise and then we're going to do five neck circles anti-clockwise. And you can see from this I'm not taking my head back into an unnatural position, just nice and relaxed, taking it the opposite way. And everything you'll be doing, you need to be doing that in your pain-free range, guys, okay? So we've done our neck, we're going to work onto our shoulders. So we're going to start off with some nice big arm circles. Reach up at the top, a nice big stretch, just like you've got out of bed. And we're just going to do five or six rotations. And then we're going to do exactly the same, going backwards. And again, nice big stretch, and back. Being careful not to overextend. If you have any hypermobility, guys, please be mindful. And I recommend in that case doing it in front of a mirror so you can be aware of any um, hyperextension. We're going to go into swimming forwards now. So just like front crawl, you're going to do one arm and then the other. And as you can see, that's just letting my trunk get involved now. So just starting to mobilise the core. And we're going to do exactly the same, going backwards. Perfect. Okay, next up is the chest. And I'm just going to rotate to the side so you can see where I'm going with my arm. So with this, you don't want to take your arms back further than being in line with your back. So you're just opening up that chest, it's just like a little bit of a reverse fly. And then last but not least is the core. So I'm going to rotate from the middle to the right. Middle to the left. And then left to right. And that is us mobilised, ready for warm up. So we're going to do two two minute rounds and you're going to have 30 seconds in between and that is going to be our warm up, okay? So without further ado, in three, two, one. We're going to start off with some nice high marching. So if you can get your arms above shoulder height, please do. Don't worry if you can't. Just going to start off getting those shoulders nice and warm. Ten more seconds of your marching, guys. We'll be stuck. Okay, from there, we're going to go into punching out in front. So nice and loose, nice and light. And I'm keeping these shots at head height, folks, okay? And you can see I'm making those arms nice and long, they're fully extending. And I'm landing with the palm facing down. Don't worry too much about that, I'll go through some of the technique with boxing and punches a little later on in the workout. But from there, we're going to go into start. So again, if you can get your arms above shoulder height, let's try for it. And give those triceps a little squeeze, just as you extend those arms. So palms are facing forward. We tricep extend. Oh, we start. Sorry. Ten more seconds. Good. 
And the last 30 seconds of exercise, we're gonna do wheel taps. So, if you're in a normal chair and not in a wheelchair, you're gonna do heel taps. So wheel taps or heel taps. If you've got a strong core and want to extend that exercise, take your arms out to the side. And you've got 10 seconds. And you can see I'm stopping at the top, making sure I've got good control. And rest, great. Okay, 30 seconds rest guys. And we'll go for round two. Please make sure you've got water. The hydration, super important, okay. About 15 seconds. And we're going to do this last round of warm up. So, we're going to start off with what we call the wood chop. And we're going to start going over the right shoulder down to the left hip on the bell. Off we go. So, over the shoulder, down to the opposite hip, letting those elbows bend and letting the body roll with it. Okay. So, this should start to warm that trunk a little bit now. Good stuff. Okay, shall we change sides? Let's do that. So, over the left shoulder, down to the right hip. And if you're in a sports chair like me, you're gonna get an extra bit of core workout because you've not got any breaks. <laughs> so, it's all good, it's all functional, all helps with our day-to-day -day life. Certainly with transferring, um, pushing if you're in wheelchair, using crutches, etc. Lovely stuff. Okay, next 30 seconds. Elbow to opposite knee. Everything that we're doing, guys, can be done slow and controlled or with pace. Okay, so I've just picked up the pace a little bit here um, with the elbow to opposite knee. But as I said at the beginning, be guided by your body. Okay, and last 30 seconds, back out in front. We're going to do 20 seconds, and the last 10, we're going to pick up the pace a little bit more. Are you ready? Three, two, one, off you go. Nice and loose, nice and light. <laughs> and rest good stuff okay if you would like to wear boxing gloves and you haven't got them on yet please pop them on now while i just change the timer over cool okay i'm gonna put myself back a little bit and hopefully that'll stop me from rolling around quite so much so let's go there Right, as always, we're going to start off with the same round. We're going to do the double jab, we're going to do the cross, and we're going to do the double jab cross. But today we're going to do that as a three minute round. So there's going to be 45 seconds of the double jab, 45 seconds of the cross, and 90 seconds of the double jab cross. Okay? If you feel like you need to rest before that three minutes is finished, folks, please take the rest. Like we always say, be guided by your body. Okay, are we ready? Good, good, good. In three, two, one. Hands up and off we go. So, lead hand, hands we don't right with, double jab. So I'm gonna do it nice and slow at first. Out, back three quarters, out again, back to the face. One, one. One, one. And you can see my hand is the last part of my body to move. So I'm driving that hand forward by rotating my body. Okay, so I'm taking the opposite shoulder back. One, one. And I'm keeping my other hand, my defending hand, nice and high. Good, okay, moving on to punch two is your cross. Rear hand, hand you do right with, just one shot, cross and back. 
That's punch number two. And I'm breathing out nice and light with each punch. Just like I'm blowing out a candle. That helps me with my timing, my accuracy. But it also helps to regulate your breathing throughout the exercise. It's almost like a metronome. Ten seconds, we're going to put it together. So we're going to do one, one, two, double jab cross. Are we ready? Okay, let's go, chaps. Double jab cross. One, one, two. Hands back up and move. It's a nice head and body movement in between. One, one, two. Hands up and move. I'm keeping my elbows tucked in, guys. My hands are up by my face. I'm making myself a nice moving target and I'm nice and compact as well. So this is really working the core as well as the shoulders and your arms, upper back and chest. It's a really good all over body workout. You've got a minute left guys, so doing really, really well. One, one, two, jab, jab, cross. If you're feeling confident, pop your hand down onto a wheel here and there. Imagine that you're moving around the ring. Moving that head, stopping yourself being hit by that opponent, yeah? 15 seconds. Keep those hands up, guys. Last 10. And rest. Well done. 60 seconds. Rest. I'm going to change the time back to a two minute round. We're going to alternate between threes and twos. So grab a quick drink first and I will tell you your next combination. Which is Lead uppercut, cross, lead uppercut, or five, two, five. So before I start, I'll give you a quick demo. Five, two, five. Lead uppercut, cross, lead uppercut. We're going to do that for 60 seconds. Then we're going to change it over to rear uppercut, jab, rear uppercut, six, one, six. Don't worry, I'm going to remind you of all of that throughout the round. And if you're ready, we will go for it. So. Two, one, off we go. So, dip and drive, number five. Dip, drive up through the middle, nice straight shot, and another up. Dip, drive, straight, drive. Good. Five, two, five. And again, I'm using my body to drive my hands. Five, two, five. Five, two, five. Good. Chin, nose, chin. That's it. Chin, nose, chin. Keeping those hands up. Chin, nose, chin. Good work. Keeping that head and body movement going just like you were in the first round. 15 seconds before we change. Chin, nose, chin. Chin, nose, chin. Good. One more. Let's change it over. Start with the rear hand. Six, one, six. Rear uppercut. Jab. Rear uppercut. Yeah. Six, one, six. Hands back and move. Looking good guys, keep it going. Doing really well. That's it, nice. Remember that dip and drive. Work that core. About 20 seconds left. Good. That's 
your last 10 round counter. Three, two, one, rest. Good work. Okay, let me give you about 90 seconds. Rest, so just grab a drink. And we're gonna move on. This has got slips in it, which is why I'm giving you a little bit of an extra bit of rest before we move on to it. So we're gonna double those slips up. And I'm just gonna turn to the side to show you the slips. So it's quite similar to elbow to opposite knee that we did in warm up. But we're not gonna be moving and leaning forward, okay? So a slip is a, is a defense for a straight shot coming at you, okay? So imagine I've got a punch coming towards my face. I'm going to let it slip over my shoulder, okay? So I'm going to go slip, slip, like that, okay? So that would be elbow to opposite knee. That is a slip. So it's exactly the same, but we're not leaning forward, okay? And that's that nice head defense for straight shots. So the combination is going to be slip to the lead, slip to the lead, one, two. Do that. Uh, oh, we're going to do it as a three minute round, aren't we? So you're going to do uh, 90 seconds of each. Whoa, that's going to be fun. <laughs> Perfect. So 90 seconds on each side, three minute round. Slip lead, slip lead, one, two, is what we're starting off with. Okay. In three, two, one. Off we go, hands up. Hands up, slip lead, slip lead. One, two. Hands back and move. Slip lead, slip lead. One, two, okay? Off we go. Slip, slip, jab cross. Slip, slip, jab cross. Slip, slip, jab cross. Good. Now, I actually breathe out on both of my slips. One, two. One, two, good. This is a super, super functional exercise, guys. And whilst I appreciate the vast majority of people doing this workout today, won't get into a boxing ring and box, but if there's something that you take away from this box fit workout, please take away the slips. Because, like I say, this is so functional for your abdominals, your obliques, your intercostals, and all of your back muscles. You can all benefit from this, hugely. 15 seconds left on this side. Slip, slip, one, two. Slip, slip, one, two. Slip, slip. One, two, slip, slip, one, two, good. Shall we go the other way? Let's do it. So that's gonna be slip rear, slip rear, two, one, yeah? Slip rear, slip rear, cross, jab. Pick it up again, off we go. Slip, slip, two, one, hands back and move. Slip, slip, two, one. This is where the conditioning for your shoulders comes in, folks. Keeping those hands nice and high. Remember, they're up there for a reason. They're there to defend shots as well. Slip rear, slip rear, two, one. Let's do this. Looking good, keep it going. Well over the two minute mark now, champs. Doing well. Thirty seconds left. Good. Slip rear, slip rear. Two, one. Make sure those hands are nice and high. Make sure we're fully extending. Last ten seconds, folks. And rest, well done. 60 seconds, rest. 
We've got one more round to do and then we're going to move on to Tabata, okay? So I am going to drop this back down to a two minute round, so like I say, I'm going to alternate. Which is done. And we're going to do a lead hook to the body and a rear hook to head. I'll leave that off for a second actually. So, I'll give you a quick demo and I'll do it slow when we get started. Dip and roll that body hook and then the head hook, which you're all super pros at now, okay? So we're gonna do lead body hook, rear head hook, 60 seconds, seven, four. And then we're gonna do rear body hook, lead head hook, which is eight, three. Okay, let's do it. Didn't get my glove on in three seconds time. <laughs> the answer to that question was no. <laughs> right, body hook, head hook, off we go. Dip. Roll, up and over, back and move. Dip, roll, palm facing up, up and over. Dip, roll, and that head hook, nice level elbow and wrist. Body, head, hands back and move. Seven, four, hands back and move. That's it, let's get some movement going. Put some slips in here and there. Seven, four. Move that head, good. 15 seconds on this side. Seven, four. Seven, four, good. One more. Okay, let's change over. So, rear body hook, eight. Lean head hook, three. Dip and roll, up and over. Eight, three, and back and go. Good. These body hooks really work the car, guys. Make sure it's palm facing up on that body. Twenty seconds. Let's get it. Come on, let's go, let's go. Seven. That's it. Nice. Body, head. Body, head, and rest. Okay, grab a big drink. I'm gonna give you an extra little bit of rest because next up, it's Tabata time. Okay, so Tabata time. For those who haven't done one with me before, um, the format we're gonna to do today is 20 seconds of exercise, 10 seconds rest, 12 rounds. But I'm gonna be kind. We're gonna start at the top and work down. So we're gonna do head hooks for the first round. We're gonna do straight shots for the second. I'm going to do uppercuts for the third and then we're going to repeat that four times, okay? So I recommend doing this without your gloves and without weights. Uh, keep it nice and light guys and then if you redo this uh, workout on the YouTube channel on the Facebook page later and you think I should have done that with weights, then you can do that at a later date. Are we ready? I hear you all saying yes, obviously. So. Without further ado, starting off with those head hooks in three, two, one, off we go. So keeping that really good technique from the first round. So I've got that up and over, a nice level elbow and wrist. Yeah? And those hands are coming back to my face with every punch. Three, two, one, rest. 10 seconds rest. Great shots next up, guys. Hands up. Off we go. All the way out. Nice and loose, nice and long, nice and quick. This is when I'm going to come give you a kiss. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> Eight seconds. <laughs> Three, two, one, rest. Upper cuts next up. Who doesn't like a challenge? Hands up. 
two, one, off we go. Straight up through the middle, keep them nice and central guys. Keep that core nice and tight, keep that head nice and still. Five seconds. Rest. Three down. So we're starting back at the top. Head hooks. Off we go. That's it. So this is all about pace, not power. So these are really light, but we're going really quite quickly. It's about two punches per second is what you're looking for. Rest. Feeling warm yet? Yeah? Ready for your straights? Off we go. Oh, she's on the move again. <laughs> That's it, keep it going. Game face. <laughs> Five seconds, keep them long, guys. Rest. Next up, dip and dry. Three, two, one. Off we go. That's it. Good. So those hands are coming straight up the middle of my face. Same trajectory every time. Rest. Halfway through. Six down, six to go. Ready to go? Head hooks. Let's box. Keep them quick, keep them quick. Let those hands come back to the face. Elbows tucked in. Halfway. <laughs> Three, two, one. Rest. Straight shots. Next up. Let's box. I don't know if I'm going to do my circle like I did last time. Oh, that's a shame. Going in a different direction for a change though. Rest. <laughs> Next up. Use your uppercuts. Three, two, one, go. That's it, that's it, that's it. Halfway. Rest. Three rounds. All you've got, guys. And we get to cool down and stretch up. Are we ready? Head up. How this one? Get them out of the way. We're in it together. That's it. Good. Into single figures, keep it going. Rest. Straight shot. Off we go. Keep them high, guys. Come on, keep them high. Nine seconds. Three, two, one, rest. One more round. Up cuts. Easy one. It almost cool down. It's that easy, guys. Come on, let's do it. Off we go. Quick as you can. That's it. Let's shine those shoes. Shoe shine, guys. Come on, go. Last ten seconds. Five, four, three, 
two, one, rest. <laughs> well done guys, well done. Okay, we're gonna give ourselves about 20 seconds, 30 seconds, just to start letting our heart rate come down to a resting rate, and then we're gonna do some cool down to help it along the way. So grab a drink and take that time. So it's really important to cool down before you stretch off because it's going to help to move the lactic acid around the muscle groups and prevent it from building up and causing that muscle ache and things the next day. And actually, most injuries occur at the beginning or the end of workouts when we don't do this stuff properly. So I know you've done all the hard work, but please stay tuned now and do the cool down and stretch off with us as well. Okay? So, all we're going to do to cool down is go through our punches and our slips, but we're keeping everything below shoulder height and we're slowing it right down. And that will start to bring your heart back down to a nice resting rate. Okay? Now everyone's heart recovery rate will be slightly different. So if I've stopped cooling down and you still feel you need a little bit more time, like I said at the beginning, be guided by your body. It's super important. I know I say it every week, but it's still as important as it was last week, okay? Another 10 seconds. And rest. Perfect. Hopefully, everybody should be breathing at around about their normal rate now. So I'm going to start off with stretching and as I started with the dynamic stretching we're finishing with static and again we're going to work from head to base for the same reason. Less likely to miss anything out, especially when we're tired after working out, okay? So for this one I'm going to start off by stretching my neck. I'm going to tilt my head to the right and I'm going to take hold of my left wrist behind my back and I will feel that starting to stretch me down here, okay? You are not pulling muscles you are stretching them so you're just giving it a little bit of resistance until you can feel that stretch and you want to be holding them for about 20 seconds 15 20 seconds is fine okay so there's not actually any requirement to push down on your head to stretch your neck off so i'm just going to alternate so tilting to the left and holding my right wrist okay Lovely. Come back facing forwards. Next off, we're going to do our triceps. So, in fact, I'll spin round. What I've done is popped my left hand between my shoulder blades, and with my right hand, I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure on my elbow until I can feel the stretch on my tricep. Okay, so again, I'm not pulling my arm back just putting that little bit of pressure on it. Okay, good. Changing arms. So this workout today was around about 30 minutes. Um, but remember, on the Gym Possible Facebook page and YouTube channel, we have tens and tens and tens of different workouts from all of the team. So whether that be boxing, resistance, tobacco, you can put a couple together if you want a little bit more of a workout, if you want more than half an hour, or if you enjoyed it that much, you can just do it all over again. Okay, so doing my shoulders now, so I'm just taking my arm across my chest and holding it in place with my opposite arm. And again, I'm not pulling that back, I'm just holding it in place, creating some resistance. Good. And changing sides. For those of you who've been doing this a little while, hopefully, when you're doing your stretching, you'll start to feel that your range of motion is starting to increase over the time that you've been doing these workouts. As you're becoming stronger, fitter, your muscles are becoming more conditioned. So, um, so if you're noticing that, 
Give yourself a pat on the back, well done. So I've just put my hands together, I'm reaching up nice and tall to the sky, and this is really stretching out my upper back and my delts now. It feels really quite good. After all that hard work on the shoulders. And I'm going to take my hands behind my back and lift them up slightly and that just stretches out the chest and the front belt as well. If that is a little bit difficult, if you haven't quite got that range of motion, pop your hands in the small of your back and push forward and you'll get a similar kind of stretch. I'm just going to stretch off the lats, okay? So, two ways of doing this. The first is for lower core tone, okay? So, I'm going to tilt myself to the left and I'm going to take hold of my right wrist above my head and I'm going to guide that over until I feel that stretch, okay? If you've got a stronger core, you can take it a little bit further, but please hold on. Remember, I've strapped in, I'm nice and secure before I'm doing this. Okay, so same principle, just holding on but you'll just be able to take yourself over a little bit further. Good. And change. Last one. And rest. Well, thank you guys for joining me with Adaptive Box Fit Workout with Gym Possible. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. As always, please stay safe, stay active, and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.